Hawks back in killing Woodlands in the first round of the state tournament, and the Spartans had a full complement of fans come to Mount St. Mary's in Newburgh for this matchup. And hey, that's Bob Murphy, the Poughkeepsie boys basketball coach from way back in the day. He's now doing great things at Woodlands. But his team would have to contain Justin Etz, because when he gets revved up, Etz is as good as it gets. And right out of the chute, we were going to have a game. Ross Joseph has the outside shot. And Derek Lowe has the inside post moves. Alex Strom was stromming the twines from the outside. He finished with 15 points. Etz to Strom. Shovel pass to Lowe. Oh baby, the Spartans will look spectacular in the first. Spack and kill led 2015 after one. But Woodlands was keeping the pace faster than Spack and Kill had seen all year and led by a point at halftime. Third quarter, Woodlands continues to run and gun with lots of gas in the tank. Jamil Gambari finished the night with 17 points. Alex Strom keeps stromming along, he had three three-pointers. But there was no stopping Gambari. Woodlands was able to stop Ads from putting up the crazy numbers he's been putting up, but they couldn't stop him from running the show. Great pass to Joe Mills. It was tied at 42 at the end of three. But that's when Spack and Kill realized they forgot to fill up the tank before they left Poughkeepsie. And the Spartans just flat out ran out of gas. Fatigue set in, causing turnovers and missed shots. The Spartans only managed four points in the fourth quarter, and Woodlands eliminates Spack and Kill 53-46. A great game for three quarters. Uh, that fourth quarter we got a little bit sloppy, but I, I think a little bit of that was fatigue. And you know, credit Woodlands. You know, they they ran it ran us pretty hard and wore us down. You know, we, we haven't seen that type of uh, you know quickness or, or that pace all year long. You know, and I, I was proud of the way our kids played. You know, they played hard. They played their hearts out. Made a couple runs. You know, we just we didn't we didn't have one left in us late though. I mean, they were you know, they were in our shorts defensively the whole night. You know. I think they were a little bit deeper than we were, and, and um, you know, it caught up to us in the fourth. It's been a great run. You know, it's been a great run. Uh, the senior class is just an absolute phenomenal group of young men. You know, uh, three of them play an awful lot for us. Two of them don't, but but all five of them make contributions every way they can. You know, the uh, you know the example they set for the program. You know, putting themselves sacrificing themselves you know for the betterment of everybody else is is something that I hope the young kids are keeping an eye out for you know it's, it's kind of tough these days coaching in the me generation you know everybody wants to be the next LeBron and um, you know these five seniors sort of exemplified you know what it means to play as a team and get you know and to give a oneself and, and you know for that I, I consider myself lucky to have had the opportunity to coach them